In this video, we will be taking a look at some plumbing fittings that you can use to hook sinks up that are going to be back to back. So a sink located in one bathroom and then a sink located directly on the other side in another bathroom. And before we do that, let's take a look at the standard San T connection with a single pipe being used as the drain and a single pipe being used as a vent and then a single pipe pipe to hook the sink up or the fixture. And you can see here where the single pipe vent is going through the roof and then the drain is going to connect to the other drainage pipes in the house. And if I want to have the two sinks connecting to a single drain line and a single vent pipe, then you might be able to use what is often referred to as a fixture T. And even though I'm using the double sinks as an example, other fixtures can be connected to a double fixture T. And the difference between this fitting here and a double sand T is that it usually has enough curve to prevent the water from this side while while it's draining to actually go to the other side. However, that might not be the case if you use a double sanitary tee, especially if you're using this type of connection for toilets that are going to be throwing out a little more water, whereas in a sink or a bathtub you might not have enough water to actually make it across. And even if it did, it's probably not going to be enough. I really don't see a big deal with using a double sand tee for a bathroom sink. However, I do understand that something like this could be a big problem if you're trying to use a snake to clean out the sewer. If you could imagine removing this section of the sink so that you could get the snake through here and hope that it's going to go down but in reality, it's probably going to go across. And almost every plumber has a story about the snake going into another room and creating problems for the bathroom on the other side of the wall. And another fitting you're probably not going to be able to use for a situation where you have two fixtures on each side will be a situation where you have a Y fitting like this connecting to your sink with a 45 degree fitting. Your local building codes probably won't approve it because this could create a water siphoning action that could pull water out of the trap. How much water? Would it be enough to ever create a problem? Might depend upon the distance between the fixtures, the amount of water coming out of each one of those fixtures, and the diameter of the pipes connecting the fixtures together with a single drain pipe and a single vent pipe. And of course a setup you're probably never going to have a problem with will be to connect each sink to a separate drain line which will connect eventually to a single drain line. And I've actually ran into situations before where certain cities only allowed this type of setup. And again, you're not going to have a problem if you need to run a snake through something like this because it's not going to be going across a double fitting. Even though I don't think you're ever going to have a problem if you use a double fixture fitting because they're designed specifically for that purpose. And since we're using the double drains, we're going to need two vents or one vent for each fixture. And we can connect one of them into a single vent pipe as long as all of the pipe sizes are the correct diameter. And don't forget to turn the sanitary tee upside down. And with this method here, we're not going to be able to come straight out of the wall at a 90 degree angle if each one of these sinks need to be positioned directly across from each other. And to fix this, all we need to do is rotate one of the fittings or both of the fittings just a little bit. And in this case here, I just went ahead and rotated this one a little bit. And most of the time, this won't be that big of a deal. I know I've made plenty of videos where I've rotated this fitting about 45 degrees and had complaints from people suggesting that the pipe has to come out at a 90 degree angle. However, in my designs, I'm choosing to eliminate as many bends or angles as I possibly can. And that's one way to do it. And the last thing I want to mention will be that if you can lower one of the drain lines or raise one, then you might be able to use this method here. With one sanitary T fitting above another sanitary T fitting, and again using the single drain line with a single vent. 
And to make something like this work with both of the sinks at the same level or positioned at the same height, then you're probably going to need an extender. And that's not that big of a deal. I've used plenty of them before because of customer design changes. And I might as well admit it, I've had to use them more times than I've wanted to because I didn't locate these stub outs at the right height. And if I've done my job right, you now have a better idea about what you might be able to do and might not be able to do if you're not going to check with your local building department to hook a set of double fixtures together that need to be located on the opposite sides.